This product is a much thicker moisturizer packed with luxury oils. Today we're making chocolate coconut body butter. If you'd like to see all of our artisan bath and soap making products, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our new recipes. If you're familiar with the lotions, but you're not quite sure what a body butter is, they are a bit different. They're both moisturizers packed full of oils and waxes and are both a regular product incorporated into the daily skincare routine. Where lotions are usually about 80% water or watertight base and emulsified with the oils, body butters are just the oils with no water in the recipe. The result is a completely different product and in almost all cases packaged in a much smaller container. The body butter we're about to make here will fit in a 4 ounce container and has as much oil as a 20 ounce bottle of lotion. Because of this, you only need a tiny bit to take you a long way. In this recipe, I've melted everything down except the shea butter. If we melt everything down, it'll take too long to whip into a light frosting, so by keeping the soft shea butter solid, we can bring our processing time down by about 10 minutes. Even so, mixing this takes a while and you'll watch as our body butter goes through several stages from liquid to a glaze to a frosting. The whole process takes about 10 minutes. Cool Coconut from Crafter's Choice is the fragrance that I'll be adding to this recipe. Now this does contain vanilla and for me it's always been one of those tougher fragrances that turns in cold process soap even if you add your vanilla stabilizer. Some of them are just tougher to work with than others, but the smell is pleasant and it blends with the other oils in such a pleasing way that it's worth using it. Now we won't be adding a stabilizer to this moisturizer because we're coloring the butter a cashmere chocolate anyway, so if it turns on us everything will look natural. Unlike soap making, lotions and moisturizers don't have any lye in their recipe, so this could be a kid-friendly project if you want to bring them in to work on something with you. Now we've reached a glaze stage, and to thicken this up so that it'll start to whip into a frosting, I've added a tablespoon of arrowroot, and you can substitute this with cornstarch, and this step is optional if you already like how your oils are blending together. Now despite the name chocolate coconut body butter, the fragrances are pretty complicated and this is not a candy smell. This is more of a grown up, earthier cocoa fragrance for adults. This isn't a sugar smell that the kids would migrate toward. The natural cocoa butter gives a strong chocolate aroma and the shea butter used in this recipe is the natural organic refined shea butter. This is that soft yellow butter that smells like I would describe it as a soft, fibrous, tropical tree bark. It's almost a burnt musk, and the coconut ties everything together to make it sweet and recognizable. The combination makes a unisex fragrance that both men and women would like, and this makes for a great after-shower moisturizer. Now if you experiment with this recipe and you discover that it's just too earthy or your shea butter smells too burnt for you, then you can bring the fragrance down to a more simple combination by using the white processed shea butter. Now this has almost no fragrance, but you'll still get all the quality of that luxury butter. And then that'll leave you with just the cocoa and the coconut aromas. Now like many of my body butters, I've split this batch into two parts and I'm going to give one half just a very light touch of color and in this case we're using chocolate Swiss mica and only an eighth of a teaspoon will give us a nice light cashmere color and this way we can combine the two colors together when we pipe it into our containers and it'll give us a nice swirl effect in the packaging. Now our four ounce containers will be spritzed down with rubbing alcohol and I'll spend just a moment wiping everything down including the caps and the rims of our containers. 
but this isn't the only precaution we've taken just to make sure everything's especially sterilized. I typically treat my packaging containers in the same way I would a food processing mason jar where I'll boil them or soak them in hot soapy water before we actually put any perishable products in there. So these have already been soaking for about the same time that it took to make our, our moisturizer. And now we're gonna just give it another double take by wiping everything down and rubbing alcohol. Now, if you've done this before, you'll already know that bottling lotions and butters isn't exactly the easiest thing to do. It can get pretty messy and you might find it easiest to spoon the oils into the containers, or you might prefer to pipe them in so that you can get into the edges at the bottom of the jar. I like to pipe the butters because I feel like I can keep everything cleaner that way. One of the first things you might notice is that I'm using a small sized Ziploc bag. By choosing a smaller bag, I have more control over what's in my hand and I'll just refill this bag when I'm done. I have to work slow because once you start getting these oils on your gloves or on the outside of the bag, it becomes almost impossible to hold on to. So using a small bag helps me manage this. Each product will be weighed out in the amount of 60 grams. Now we're using four ounce containers, but 60 grams is not four ounces. So it's important that you label your product according to the weight and not according to the size of the jar that you're using. Now keep in mind, 60 grams might not seem like a lot, but it's pretty standard in cosmetic measurements. And we're using condensed oils in this recipe. So there's a lot of oil and a little tiny bit goes a long way. When you're using this product, all you need to do is actually touch your finger to the oil and bring up just a pea size amount and you'll get the same amount of moisturizer on the, that'll cover the back of your hand or your entire arm. So this product actually lasts a very long time if it's used properly and you don't need to have a ton of it in order to be impressed with it. Now, once you've packaged this body butter, the oils will stay nice and fluffy the entire time it's sitting in its container, so you don't have to worry about it deflating very shortly after you've made the product. If you put it in the refrigerator, it will become stiff like ice cream, and sometimes the fluffiness will deflate a little bit, in which case you can thaw it out and whip it up with a stick and it will come back to its fluffy consistency. If you're storing it in extreme temperatures, you can't expect the oils to melt, but you really have to be out on a hot day in direct sunlight for this product to fall apart on you. Now this body butter is crafted to be a winter recipe. And for me, what that means is that it has a deep moisturizing quality, but also it will trap in moisture so that after you get out of the shower, you're not gonna be out in the cold weather where your skin will be chapped too easily. One of the ways we do this is by adding the jojoba oil. Now that in fact is not really an oil, but a wax. And a wax will leave a thin buildup on the surface of your skin. It's almost not noticeable. But by covering your skin with that wax, just like petroleum jelly or Vaseline, you'll trap the moisture in. So again, this is a really terrific product to use right after you've gotten out of the shower during the winter time if you wanna keep your skin moisturized. Because we have no water in this recipe, it's not necessary to add a chemical preservative because bacteria doesn't grow in oils. However, once it's been opened and used, it should be kept in a place where water won't be introduced. If it's kept in a place where water can get inside the container, then it should be treated like a food product that expires in a matter of weeks. Typically, moisturizers aren't kept inside the shower, so if the product stays water-free, then it will last several months. This chocolate coconut body butter is available over at our store if you visit us at thermalmermaid.com store. The link to the store is in the top of the menu bar. But also, if you'd like to make this at home, the recipe is listed in our recipe directory and you could get this luxury product that way as well. If you visit us at thermalmermaid.com, you can come and join our recipe directory and get access to hundreds of recipes all available to make in the luxury of your own kitchen. 
Now this product will last a very long time and you don't use this product exactly in the same way you would a lotion. In fact, you just simply touch the oil with the tip of your finger until you have about a pea size and that's enough to cover from your wrist all the way down to your elbow. And the oils are very condensed and rich so you don't need too much in order for it to do a wonderful job. This recipe is crafted to be a moisturizing winter recipe. The oils will soak into your skin while the jojoba, which is actually a wax, will trap the moisture inside. So it's a wonderful product to use at nighttime, before bed, or when you're fresh out of the shower. And so here's our finished product, our chocolate coconut luxury body butter.